I'm going to share with you some of the most important tips to improve your art which I learned along in my art journey so watch it till the end. Hey guys, welcome back and let's get started with today's video. The first and the most important tip that I am going to share with you today is to not have any expectations at all because as a beginner we all have the tendency to think that this drawing is going to turn out really good but sometimes it will be but sometimes it won't. So if that happens, you will be so disappointed with yourself and you will not be as interested or as enthusiastic to draw your next drawing. So try not to expect anything from yourself if you're just starting out. The second tip that I'm going to share with you might be contrary to some of the YouTube videos and that is to not draw every single day because drawing or painting something is going to take up a lot of brain work and you're going to be physically tired, your hands are going to get tired after a few minutes and if you keep doing that on a daily basis then you're not going to enjoy the process at all. If you are a beginner then you will not be used to that kind of physical and mental work and you will not see any improvement in your art at all because most of the times you will be tired and you won't be able to finish your drawing properly. So don't draw every single day. Moving on to our next point and that is to choose the right medium for you. There are so many mediums to choose from. There are markers, watercolors, acrylics, oil paintings, the list goes on and on. If you think that your art is not improving then you might not be using the right medium for you. So play with the different mediums out there and choose the one that gives you the most fun and joy and stick with it. Improve your skills for that particular medium and once you're happy with your skill set, you can explore all the different materials out there and have fun and just get creative. So stick with the medium that works for you right now and improve your skills in that medium so that you can explore all the different mediums out there. And now comes the most important tip and that is to choose the right reference image. Two images will pop up right now, one on the right and one on the left. As you can see, the image on the right has lots of details in it, lots of value changes, lots of colors, while the one on the left is much more simple and much less daunting. So if you are a beginner, you need to choose the image that is less daunting for you. Because if you choose an image with lots of details in it, then I'm sure you will be staring at your blank page for a really long time because I have done that when I was a beginner. But if you choose a simple image with less colors and less value changes, you are going to be more confident to draw that and that's what you need as a beginner. You need to have confidence so that you can improve your art. Moving on to our next point and that is to understand your reference image. Take a close look at your reference image and try to find out the direction of the light source because that is going to give your object its shape and also it is going to determine the highlights and the shadows that you can see in your reference image. And try to imagine how that will look like in reality. For example, if you're drawing a dog, then try imagining a dog sitting in front of you just like in your reference image because that is going to give you a better sense of what you're going to draw and you can draw it better. Our next point is to maintain a really good contrast because when you have a high contrast in your drawing it is going to pop up and it is going to be so much attractive. So check for your values, check how dark are your shadows, how light are your highlights and check your midtones because all these things play a huge role in your drawing. So don't be afraid to go as dark as it needs to be in your reference image. And also try to maintain the highlights as bright as possible because these things are going to help you to amp up your contrast and it is going to make your drawing look much better. Moving on and most importantly, you need to criticize your art. Criticism is going to be your best friend when it comes to art. Because if you can't find any flaws with your drawing, then how can you improve your art? 
So once you've finished your drawing, take a step back and look at it from a very different angle and try to find out the areas that needs improvement, like the sketching or maybe the shading isn't correct or the contrast isn't enough or the blending is not correct and try to improve it in your next drawing. If your drawing seems too perfect for you and you can't find any flaws with it, then just give your drawing to someone you trust and ask them to criticize it for you. Because constructive criticism is going to improve your art and it is going to take your art to the next level. With that said, moving on to a next point and that is to learn from your mistakes. We all are just human beings, so we have a tendency to make mistakes. No matter which skill level you are, you may be a beginner or advanced, something will go wrong at some point of time. Instead of dwelling on our mistakes and what went wrong, learn from your mistakes. Okay, fine. This is not right. That is not right. I'll try to improve it in my next drawing. And that is the exact mindset that you need as a beginner to improve your art. Because when we are just starting out, we tend to make a lot of mistakes and that's completely fine. We only need to learn from them. Now this brings us to our next point and that is to practice art with patience. When I was a beginner, I had that mindset that I can finish a drawing in just 30 minutes and it is going to look super realistic, but that never happened. I took around 6 to 7 hours, maybe more than that to draw this when I was starting out on color pencils. And that's how I realized that I need more time and I need to be a lot more patient to draw something realistic. So take your time and practice with patience and you will improve your art. And not only this, but also just like any activity, drawing and painting something requires a lot of brain work, just like I said before, but also it is going to take up a lot of muscle memory and control. You need to learn to control your wrist movements and how much it moves and how little it moves everything. And also you need to control your finger holes, like how it holds your pencil, how it holds your brush, everything. And also you need to use your whole arm and you need to control your arm too. Everything that I just said right now is going to take a lot of time for you to develop. Because if you are a beginner, then you will not be used to the hand movements you use for your color pencil drawings and you are not going to hold your pen or pencil the same way you hold a paintbrush. So keep practicing and you will definitely improve your art. Just one final note. Never draw something if you are not interested in it. Because we are all humans and our minds change and we get tired or bored sometimes. So if you are not interested in a drawing, don't draw that. Stop it. Take some time off and come back again and draw again. And that's all that I have for you today. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends who might find it useful. And also drop a comment down below of whatever you're thinking right now. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye everybody.